Hello everybody. Scott. Scott's Montana Adventures. I'm at the house Thursday, November 19th or something like that. I got the uh, truck running, warming up. I've got the four-wheeler side-by-side loaded. The tournament's over. It was a good tournament. I uh, took fourth at 1,221 fish. Really tough, hard conditions, but we got through it. And now it's off to Lewistown. Do some deer hunting with Lane. Hopefully this year I won't break my arm like I did last year. But uh, I'm getting ready to roll. Everything's all set. And we'll see what happens. And I'll uh, do some video on when I'm there. And we'll see if we can't get some, some deer and meat for the freezer. Off we go. See you in a bit. Got a buck down. A good, mu good muley. It's not huge, but he's he's a good good one. Shot him from uh, that little tree. He was coming. You can see his tracks down there. Shot him from this tree. He came right up to the hill. I hit him and then he, he went down back across the field and we'll go over and recover him. Good beast. Now the work starts. Well, there he is. Nice little 4x4. Four four. I'm happy with him. I love it. Well, I gotta get to work. Over there on that little hill is where I was. There we go. Now well, there he is. All done. About an hour later, I guess. He's all field dressed, loaded on the four wheeler. Ready to go. Look at that neck, it's so swelled. Big time rut going on here. Big time. A few more deer here. A couple more deer. Muley with the little spike. And a porky up there. And a doe. And then there's one up above them, but I can't tell what it is. Haven't seen a white tail yet. Keep looking. All right. We're all cutting up here now. Day two. We're going to get a white tail later, but. Everybody's up here. We're on the tops of this other spot. I guess they've been seeing some elk up here. I haven't uh, been up here for, before, but we did see some fresh sign today. So we're going to spend the morning up here running around and seeing what we see. Um, running these ridges. They're crossing back and forth, mostly at night, but you never know. We'll see if we find something. Scott's Montana Adventures, never a dull moment.
Terry seeing if you can see the buck up in here. Yeah, I don't know. I thought this one was a little spike, but he's not. It's the doe. Certainly not bothered by us, that's for sure. They've had enough. Somebody's shooting. There's the man, the myth, the legend, Lane Carroll. <laughs> then there's, of course, Terry. That's Terry doing what Terry does best. wonder what kind of gold they took out of this place. Yeah, I know. See up top? They dynamited it up there and closed this tunnel off. Oh, did they? Yeah, we walked back in there last summer. It's pretty crazy, crazy that they, uh, yeah, they got it. how did they, how did they say, decide, right here is where I'm going to dig a hole? Uh, who knows, right? Yeah. There's got to be gold there. Okay. Crazy. Cool. History. There's everybody in Lane's house is down in the down there farther. Uh, we're way up here. This is crazy. Quite the view, huh? Oh yeah. Quite the view.
I need to narrate this a little bit. We are off the mountain and down, and we've had lunch, and we've come back out now, and we're driving along this road, and there's a doe out in the field, so I pull the four-wheeler over, jump out, and shoot her. It was like, okay, wow, there it is. So Lane and I are heading out there now, Terry has gone down the road to see if he could find a buck in this group. They all went off to the right of us. And Lane and I are just going to go out into this field and recover this doe. And then we'll take her up into the woods and get her field dressed instead of doing it out here in the, in the farmer's field. There she was there. But uh, it just all happened so fast. It was like driving down the road and I'll, oh, there they are. And I needed the whitetail doe so I could fill that tag. And uh, there she was. And uh, put her down and um, we're gonna go up and get her all taken care of and get her back to the, to the shop and get her hung up. So that's two deer, successful trip, beautiful day as you can see, but um, now we got to take care of this business, so uh, we'll uh, keep on going here, and I'll I'll show you some pictures and uh, I think a, another video of uh, the shop with the deer hanging. Lane had shot a nice white tail buck a couple of day a week earlier, and it was hanging in there as well. So you get to see his deer, but uh, that's three hanging in the shop. Pretty cool. back I've got the deer all processed I just thought I'd show you this is kind of what it is it's amazing you get this great big animal down you think oh geez it's gonna be massive lots of meat when you get back you get a box in the box you got all this processed meat back strap yeah back strap there's a lot of venison a burger as well it's in another box but that's what it looks like so you get a lot of burger if you if this is the way you have it processed. I like two people setups for my wife and I and steaks, roasts, all the most steaks you can get and then some roasts. And then the rest is burger which I use for sausage and salami. So it's kind of like from the field to the freezer here. We got uh, the freezer and a little bit left over from last year. Lots of burger. Some summer sausage. We had done last year. But that's kind of the, pro the pro process there, you know. I mean, I show you the hunt and the trip. And this is the result. This is what you want to see is okay. All the effort, expense, comes down to a box of meat to feed the family. Pure, perfect protein. Can't beat it. That's what it's all about. Scott's Montana Adventures. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe, share, like the video. We'll keep doing them. And, uh... Do some more uh, off-road stuff this winter with the Jeep. So stay tuned. Thanks for everything. And thanks for uh, watching the videos on this crazy 2020. Wow. Crazy just doesn't, doesn't really give it justice, does it? All the best to you. Stay healthy.